Welcome to the Camping and Caravaning Club series of how-to videos. Now, reversing a caravan can seem difficult and even put some potential caravanners off our great pastime, but guess what? It's easy with a bit of know-how and a spot of practice. I'm here with Camping and Caravaning Magazine's Ian Hewlett and Candy Evans to show you how it's done simply and safely. The key to reversing a caravan is realising you need to turn the car's steering wheel in the opposite direction to the one you'd expect to get the caravan moving. If you want the caravan to turn to your left as you're seated in the car, steer your car front wheels to the right so that if your hands are on the wheel at a quarter to three, bring your right hand down. And the second main point is to take things really slowly so you can correct things if, or perhaps when, they start to go a bit awry. Before reversing, make sure you've got a clear view down the caravan using your extension mirrors. It's also a big help to have someone watching to check for obstacles in any blind spots, but make sure they're standing at a safe distance. Start with reversing in a straight line. As you go back, if you see more of the caravan appearing in one side mirror than the other and you want to straighten up, steer towards the caravan. Or to look at it another way, steer as if you wanted to drive towards the mirror where you can see the caravan looming and the outfit will straighten up. So if the caravan starts to appear fuller in your right-hand side mirror, bring your right hand down. If it appears fuller on your left-hand side mirror, bring your left hand down. If the caravan and its side walls appear evenly proportioned and angled in both wing mirrors, you're reversing in a straight line. Now we're moving on to reversing around the corner to your right. You'll often need to reverse around a corner to position your caravan on its pitch. This is a simpler manoeuvre than reversing around a corner to the left. You should have good visibility through your driver's side window without the need to crane your neck and peer through your car's headrests and pillars. Drive your caravan past the pitch until the wheels of the caravan are just beyond the edge of it. Remember you need to steer in what might feel like the wrong direction at the start of the turn. To reverse the van to your right, you need to turn the steering wheel anti-clockwise to the left to begin. Apply full lock to the car steering wheel to turn the caravan sharply to begin with. The car pushes the caravan nose and it will turn quite quickly. Once it's heading in the right direction, if you continue to steer left in the car, the outfit will jackknife. So adjust the steering so it follows the caravan's course as you edge back towards the pitch. Again, if the van doesn't end up exactly where you wanted it, simply pull forward a short distance and reverse again. Don't forget, single axle caravans can be pretty easy to manoeuvre by hand, so if you don't reverse your van into its pitch perfectly, you can always unhitch and move it by hand, if it's a level, firm pitch. Though be aware of the weight, and don't try this if there's any chance of the caravan rolling out of control. Now we're moving on to reversing around a corner to your left. Start by driving past the pitch until the wheels of the caravan are just beyond the edge of it. Remember you need to steer in what feels like the wrong direction at the start of the turn. If you want to reverse the caravan to the left, you need to turn the steering wheel clockwise to the right to begin with. Apply full lock to the car's steering wheel to turn the caravan sharply to begin with. The car pushes the caravan's nose around quite quickly. Once it's started to turn, you'll need to straighten up the steering wheel fairly swiftly to prevent the outfit jackknifing. This is when the caravan gets stuck at an L or even a V-shaped angle to the tow car and simply won't move. If this begins to happen, stop and drive the car forward a little using the opposite lock to straighten up. Once the caravan has turned, adjust the steering wheel so it follows the caravan's course as you edge back towards the pitch. At this point, the steering wheel positioning is more similar to reversing into the same space without a caravan, but it's still best to follow the route of the caravan in your mirrors. Small movements of the steering wheel should now be enough to tweak your direction. If the van doesn't end up exactly where you wanted it, simply pull forward a bit and reverse again. If you found this video useful, be sure to check out others in our how-to series on our YouTube channel and on our magazine website. Happy caravanning.